Have you ever wondered what lies beyond Neptune and why it's crucial for understanding our solar system? Beyond the gas giants where the sun is but a distant flicker, lies a mysterious expanse known as the Kuiper Belt. Welcome to the Oddities and Curiosities channel. Please like, share and subscribe if you like our content. This is no empty void, it's a bustling frontier teeming with icy objects, remnants from the early formation of our solar system. Picture a donut-shaped ring stretching from Neptune's orbit, some 30 astronomical units from the Sun, to about 50 astronomical units away. That's a distance so vast that light takes about 4 hours to traverse it. This is the realm of the Kuiper Belt, a region nearly 20 times as wide and up to 200 times as massive as the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. But don't mistake the Kuiper Belt for its rocky cousin closer to the Sun. While the asteroid belt is made up mostly of rock and metal, the Kuiper Belt is a frosty wonderland, composed predominantly of ices, a frozen cocktail of water, methane and ammonia. These ices have been preserved in the deep freeze of space for over four and a half billion years, making the Kuiper Belt a kind of cosmic deep freeze, a time capsule from the birth of our solar system. And it's not just its composition that sets the Kuiper Belt apart. Its location beyond Neptune, at the icy outskirts of the solar system, makes it a key to unlocking cosmic mysteries. The Kuiper Belt holds vital clues to understanding the formation and evolution of our solar system, from the migration of the giant planets, to the origins of water and organic molecules on Earth. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that beyond the planets we know and love, beyond even distant Neptune, lies the Kuiper Belt, a cosmic frontier filled with icy bodies that hold the secrets of our solar system's past. Now that we've located the Kuiper Belt, let's meet its icy inhabitants. Imagine a realm where dwarf planets like Pluto, Haumea and Make Make hold court, Welcome to the Kuiper Belt, where these icy bodies, known as Kuiper Belt objects or KBOs, reside. Among these celestial bodies, Pluto is perhaps the most famous. Once considered the ninth planet of our solar system, it was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. But don't let its size fool you. Pluto is an icy world with a heart-shaped glacier that's the size of Texas and Oklahoma. Its surface is made up of nitrogen ice, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. But Pluto isn't the only dwarf planet in town. Meet Haumea, an intriguing KBO named after the Hawaiian goddess of childbirth. Haumea is unique because of its elongated shape caused by its rapid rotation. It's also the only known dwarf planet with its own ring system. Next up is Make Make, named after the creation deity of the Rapa Nui people of Easter Island. It's the second brightest object in the Kuiper Belt after Pluto. Make Make is known for its reddish hue and lack of atmosphere which makes its surface incredibly cold and inhospitable. Then we have Orcus and Qua, both discovered in the early 21st century. Orcus is often called the anti-Pluto because of its similar size and opposite orbit. Qua, on the other hand, is unique for its near-circular orbit. These dwarf planets are composed largely of ices, a mix of frozen volatiles like methane, ammonia and water. Each of them, with their unique features and intriguing histories, adds a new piece to the cosmic puzzle. They've witnessed the solar system's history, silently orbiting for billions of years in the cold outer reaches of space. These dwarf planets are not just icy curiosities, they may hold clues to the solar system's past. Could the Kuiper Belt have played a role in shaping our solar system? This question has captivated scientists and space enthusiasts alike for decades. The birth of the Kuiper Belt traces back to the early days of our solar system, around four and a half billion years ago. Back then, a swirling disk of gas and dust, known as the protoplanetary disk, surrounded our young sun. Out of this chaos, planets began to form, and the leftover material coalesced into what we now know as the Kuiper Belt. But what about comets, those icy voyages that dazzle us in the night sky? Could they too have been born in this distant realm? The answer is a resounding yes. Comets are essentially frozen leftovers from the formation of the solar system. They are made up of the same primordial stuff that failed to coalesce into planets. Many scientists believe that the Kuiper Belt is the birthplace of short period comets, those that orbit the sun in less than 200 years. These icy bodies are believed to have been flung inward from the Kuiper Belt by gravitational interactions with the outer planets, embarking on a journey that would eventually bring them into the inner solar system. But the Kuiper Belt isn't the only celestial nursery for comets. There's another even more distant region called the Oort Cloud, 
which is thought to be the source of long-period comets, those with orbits that take more than 200 years to complete. So, the Kuiper Belt, with its icy rocky inhabitants, serves as a kind of time capsule. It provides us with a window into the past, offering clues about the materials and conditions that prevailed during the early days of our solar system. And perhaps, through continued exploration and study, it may even shed light on the origins of life itself. The Kuiper Belt's past may be murky, but its future is bright with exploration. As we continue to probe this icy frontier, who knows what fascinating secrets we'll uncover next? In 2015, humanity's eyes were fixed on Pluto as the New Horizons spacecraft made a historic flyby. Over nine years, the New Horizons spacecraft embarked on a three billion mile journey to the outer reaches of our solar system. This NASA-led mission was no easy feat, but the rewards, absolutely astronomical. The primary objective was to study Pluto and its moons up close. And what a sight it was! New Horizons captured breathtaking images of Pluto, revealing a heart-shaped region named Tombaugh Regio. This region, made of nitrogen ice, became an iconic symbol of the dwarf planet, sparking intrigue and wonder worldwide. But the mission didn't stop there. After its successful rendezvous with Pluto, New Horizons had enough fuel and drive to continue its exploration. It set its sights on the Kuiper Belt, a distant region beyond Neptune teeming with icy bodies known as Kuiper Belt Objects, or KBOs. In 2019, the spacecraft reached its next target, Arakoth, a snowman-shaped KBO. This marked the farthest object ever explored by a spacecraft, further expanding our understanding of the universe. The New Horizons mission has provided a wealth of knowledge, from the discovery of Pluto's blue skies to the detection of water ice on its surface. It's also given us a first-hand look at the striking diversity of KBOs, each with their unique characteristics and histories. But perhaps the most significant achievement of New Horizons is the way it has redefined our perspective of the solar system. It's shown us that there's much more beyond the planets we've grown familiar with, it's reminded us that our solar system is a vast, dynamic and ever-surprising place filled with wonders waiting to be discovered. As New Horizons continues its journey, each day brings potential for new discoveries, fresh insights, and a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmos. And while the spacecraft may be billions of miles away, its mission is very much at the heart of our curiosity and our drive to explore. New Horizons' journey to the Kuiper Belt has opened a new chapter in space exploration. What role do comets play in the icy puzzle of the Kuiper Belt? This question has been a driving force for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike, and the answer lies in the intricate dance between the Kuiper Belt, the scattered disk, and the giant planet Neptune. Let's start with the Kuiper Belt. This vast icy ring sits just beyond Neptune's orbit, and it's packed with millions of icy bodies, some of which are large enough to be considered dwarf planets. But that's not all. The Kuiper Belt is also a major source of comets, those icy travelers that streak across our skies and captivate our imaginations. Now, imagine a disk of icy bodies scattered around the Kuiper Belt, extending even further into space. This is the Scattered Disk, a region whose inhabitants have orbits that are highly elongated and tilted, often taking them far above and below the plane of the solar system. Many of the objects in the scattered disk were likely once part of the Kuiper Belt, but were ejected outward by gravitational interactions with Neptune. Speaking of Neptune, this giant planet plays a crucial role in the story of comets. Its massive gravity acts like a giant cosmic pinball machine, flinging objects from the Kuiper Belt and the scattered disk into new orbits. Some of these objects are sent hurtling inward toward the Sun, becoming what we know as short-period comets. Others are thrown into the farthest reaches of the solar system, where they may become long-period comets returning to the inner solar system only after thousands or even millions of years. As we continue to study the Kuiper Belt, the scattered disk and comets, we're gaining invaluable insights into the early days of our solar system. Each comet we observe, each icy body we discover, adds another piece to the puzzle. And as we chase these celestial snowballs, we're uncovering more than just the origins of comets. As we chase comets, we uncover more of the Kuiper Belt's hidden secrets. The Kuiper Belt is just the beginning of our journey to the outer reaches of the solar system, a vast expanse of icy bodies. The Kuiper Belt is a treasure trove of cosmic curiosities, but science is not one to rest on its laurels. The quest for knowledge urges us to venture further, to probe deeper into the mysteries that lie beyond. 
The future holds immense potential for exploration of the Kuiper Belt. To truly comprehend this icy frontier, we need to visit it, to touch its frosty inhabitants, to analyze them up close. Ambitious missions are on the horizon, aiming to send more spacecraft to this distant region. These missions will not only seek to discover new Kuiper Belt objects, but also to study the ones we're already familiar with, like Pluto, Hormia, and Makemake, in more detail. Yet the Kuiper Belt is not the final frontier. Further out, beyond the icy confines of the Kuiper Belt, lies another enigmatic region, the Oort Cloud. It's a theorized sphere of icy objects enveloping our solar system, the outer shell to the inner core of the Kuiper Belt. Some scientists believe that the Oort Cloud could be the source of long-period comets, those that take more than 200 years to orbit the Sun. The Oort Cloud and the Kuiper Belt, two distant regions, may be interlinked in ways we are yet to understand. It's possible that gravitational interactions with the giant planets could have flung objects from the Kuiper Belt into the far reaches of the Oort Cloud. This could provide us with an understanding of the early solar system and how it evolved over billions of years. So as we continue to explore the Kuiper Belt, we're also setting our sights further afield. Each mission, each discovery, brings us one step closer to understanding the mysteries of our solar system. As we explore these distant realms, we continue to unlock the secrets of our solar system. Our journey through the Kuiper Belt has taken us from dwarf planets to comets, and beyond. We began with an introduction to the Kuiper Belt, this mysterious icy realm that lies beyond Neptune's orbit. We discovered its vast expanse, its composition, and its key differences from the asteroid belt. The Kuiper Belt, we learned, is a treasure trove of information waiting to be unearthed, a key to unlocking cosmic mysteries. Next, we met the Kuiper Belt objects, or KBOs, including Orcus, Pluto, Homia, Quoa, and Makemake. These dwarf planets, each with their unique features and histories, reside in this icy frontier. From frozen volatiles like methane, ammonia, and water, to their intriguing origins, we explored them all. Our cosmic journey also took us to the origins and formation of the Kuiper Belt. Did it play a role in shaping our solar system? We delved into theories about its formation and the role it might have played in the birth of comets. The New Horizons spacecraft's historic flyby of Pluto and its subsequent exploration of KBOs was a highlight of our journey. We relived the stunning visuals of Pluto's heart-shaped terrain and close encounters with distant Kuiper Belt denizens. We then chased comets, exploring the Kuiper Belt's hidden origins. We discovered the scattered disk and its dynamic relationship with Neptune, and how comets fit into this icy puzzle. Finally, we look towards the future. What lies beyond the Kuiper Belt? The Oort cloud objects beckon. We got a sneak peek at upcoming missions set to explore this enigmatic region further. As the mysteries of the Kuiper Belt continue to unfold, we are reminded of the endless wonders our solar system holds. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more interstellar adventures.